Hello YouTube, I'm Rockstar and I'm back with how to create your very own free website. So it's really easy and there are two different ways you could do it. One, you could do it with this website called GoDaddy.com and two, you could do it with this website called Wix.com. I will be exploring the Wix.com website creator in a different video because I believe it's a little bit um, it's a little bit more difficult because there are more options. But there are some perks that are in the uh, Wix way that make uh, creating your own website easier. So let's this is this video explores the GoDaddy method. So begin. Let's begin. So you just search up free website creator, and you're gonna come to Wix or Web.com or Squarespace.com. Keep scrolling down. Keep scrolling down. If it still doesn't show, just search GoDaddy. Let's go to GoDaddy.com. It says, um, build a better website in under an hour. So it's, it's free. You don't need to enter any credit information. You just begin. So let's begin. This is the website that I have created with GoDaddy.com. It actually looks pretty professional. I'm pretty impressed with the service that they gave. Except the one for one thing, it shows their URL in my website, so that doesn't look very professional. But you can use your own domain, but of course you need to buy your own domain, so it's not a very good option when it comes to domains to use GoDaddy. But yeah, it's a pretty good website, and also it says down here powered by GoDaddy Central Website Builder, and yeah, about us. Contact us. So this is the website that I created and this is how it looks on the phone. So now I will show you how to create a website just as beautiful and just as professional looking. So on GoDaddy.com, first you choose your category. For example, I chose the category of marketing. So I will choose, I don't know, marketing. I choose marketing. I choose marketing. And then you can color site anything you want. You should really pre pre create this. I just chose Rekno. It just sounded cool sounding name. And now. So you see that this is like their pre thing, pre um palette. So you can just choose your own theme and everything. So the colors I chose were the colors I chose were, in this case, my colors were blue, my, my font was like, my, my style was trade. Because I like that style, I think it's a very simple style. So with trade, you can do urban if you want. So it's trade. I just chose my next color, and I think my color scheme was blue, black, and white. Example. You can pick any color you want. Orange, yellow. I picked blue. And then, once you leave theme, then you can move on to fonts. This is a little bit hard, a little bit difficult, but I just ended up with, I believe, the the one that they preset me to, Vihala 1. I think that was a pretty good, simple font. This is the layout. This is a pre-layout. If you want to change the layout, you can do this later. So then you can go to you go back to here, and you can choose you can choose any style you want again. Choose trade. That's how my website looks now. And then you can go to pages. So this is the actual content of the website. Home takes you to the beginning page. So header works with this area right here. So it's a little slow, I think. So layout, this is my layout. You can go ahead here and change your own layout if you would like. 
So there are many, like three or four different layouts. It also it shows how your website would look, but I think I was fine with this. I, I chose this website, this layout, because I thought it was um, cool. So I just picked this layout. And then once you're done, you can click done. And then you move on to accent. I think these three colors were okay for me. So alignment, I didn't like the way it was aligned on the other sides. So I just stick, stuck with the middle. And then for the promotional banner, I just chose this message. They showed a, a generic message, but I just chose this message because um, even though it's not true, because this is my first time creating a website, I, um, if we're a professional business, this would be a good message. So for cover photo, I chose my own custom cover photo from the cover photos that they had. And then logo, logo this part's kind of tricky because in in Wix.com, they show you, on Wix.com, they show you a choice of logos and then you can customize it. But on, rec, on um, GoDaddy, you can only use your text as a logo like this, for example, here. Or you can upload your own logo from the internet. So you can, if you want, you can just search up, I don't know, cool logos. And then it'll come up with like a website generator, a web website logo generator, for example, like this one. And then you can go around, play around, and choose your own logo. But I didn't uh, do that method because I thought that was kind of time consuming. So I w moved on with just my this logo. It's not very professional, but it's an okay logo. And then for the action button, it's this book appointment now button actually, and it says this, and it takes you to the link of contact us, so people can contact me when they choose their action. And then. You move to your title, which is right this thing, stand out with us. It usually showed, it uh, gener generically showed stand out from the crowd, but I just changed it to stand out with us. And then this area right here, I just made it pave and go to your success. And this is a phone number, you can enter your phone number. And site navigation, this takes you to site navigation. The pages, so home, contact about us, contact us. So I think we're done with home now, this is how it looks. How, this is the finished home product. And then let's move on to about us. So in about us, I actually love the, the generic stuff they had. They kept the same header, but here I just loved it. Like you can change your own text if you want. You can change this text if you want. Type whatever you want here. For example, you just click on it and you can type whatever you want here. But I, I thought the text was okay and it worked for its goal. And for the action button, I, I just let it left it like it was. I didn't need an action button, I thought there. So then I move so then I just love this page, the about us page. So then I move on. If you want to create anything else, you can just click the plus button at any time. But I don't think this page needs anything else. So you can just move on now to contact us, which is what I will be doing. And contact us. This is kind of the uh, second trickiest part. You can. This is this is a very uh, generic one. It's not very like playful or business like. Drop us a call, or see you see us in you see us in person, but it's okay because they don't have much else. For example, if you want to look more about what they have, contact us. You click. And then you can choose your own text if you want. I, I didn't really have anything better, so I just let stick with the generic. And then you can choose your own address, for example, dot, 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 dot. And then your own phone number, zero, 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 zero. And then contact form, drop us a call. And then for hours, hours is the easiest part. You just go to each hour, a day, um, and you can choose whichever one you want. You can choose whichever hours you want. I just stuck with what they had, 9 to 5. But since you guys are actually creating websites, this is, you guys can choose your own website, customize it, choose from a list of hours. And I made Monday by appointment only. So there's no hours on Monday. But the rest of the days, there's out, there's, it's 9 to 5. So, and then that's it. That's, a, that's your website. So now you can just click preview. You can preview the entire website, and this is how it looks on GoDaddy.com. This is your website.
the clone. So again, the local problem, it shows your name, your domain name, and then it shows GoDaddySites.com. I don't like that very much, but then again, it costs money to create your own domain name. So I think this is okay. I think it looks like a pretty professional website, apart from the um, stuff like, I don't actually have a business called Recno, but again, there's a copyright here. I don't really like powered by Dad, GoDaddy Co Central. And for subscribing, yeah, I think it's a pretty professional looking website, even on the phone. I think it looks really good. That's home. That's the home page. I like the pictures at the back too. It's the about us page. And it shows your phone number for every page. So yeah. And when you're signing up for an account, actually sign up with your real email. Don't just think it's going to be spam because just edit your website or to, um, you know, to edit your website or do whatever you want on your website, you're going to have to create an actual email with GoDaddy. So then you can drop them. So this is the um, contact us thing, contact us slide. And yeah, that's how my website looks. So thank you, YouTube. And that's all we have for today.